everybody. Today is going to be a short video, but it's going to be packed with lots of good information. This is going to cover handgun malfunctions and how to clear them. Handgun malfunction number one, this is a failure to feed or a failure to fire. The symptom of this malfunction is a click with no bang. So this is where you would pull your trigger, you hear the click and nothing happens. This may happen for a couple of reasons. It could be a magazine issue. Maybe you didn't have the magazine seated properly. It's not all the way in. It didn't click in all the way. Um, it could also be a, a bad round or something. But I'm gonna show you on my trusty 34 what that would look like. So if you were firing and you do a click with no bang, it would be something like this. So click with no bang. Um, what you're gonna wanna do to fix it is uh, tap, rack, and roll. Not even joking, that's the solution. It's the name of my channel, tap, rack, roll. Uh, three parts, first part is tap. You're gonna take the palm of your hand and hit it on the bottom of the magwell. And you want, it's not, you don't wanna be gentle, you wanna actually hit it kinda hard like that, and then you're gonna rack it. So we just clicked a no bang, you're gonna tap, rack, you see that bad round go flying out? and then now you're ready to reacquire your sights and continue shooting. Handgun malfunction type two, this is a failure to eject, also called a stove pipe, and that's gonna look a little something like this. So you can see there is something sticking up out of the top of the gun. This is a casing that did not get ejected properly. Um, this malfunction can happen for the same reasons you can have bad ammo, you could have a bad mag, it could be a grip issue, but this could also indicate that there is something wrong inside the guts of your gun. Highly likely that's not the case, it's highly likely something else. The way to fix this type two malfunction is gonna be the exact same way we fixed the type one malfunction. And what was that? Tap, rack, roll, that's right. So again, take the palm of your hand, tap, rack, get the round out, reacquire your sights, and roll. Type number three, handgun malfunction. This is a double feed. The double feed is the mother of all malfunctions because it is the most problematic and takes the most effort to clear it. This is where you have two rounds lodged up against each other in the in the chamber and the barrel. So you'll have one in the chamber trying to load and you still have one in the barrel. And when this happens, this will, uh, the symptom will be a dead trigger. So if, if you have a gun that's locked open and you see the two rounds and you have a dead trigger, what you have going on is a type three malfunction, a double feed. The way to clear this, it's a little bit different because you can't just tap rack because the slide is jammed up by the two rounds, so it, you cannot rack the slide in this position. And you can see, um, you need to get the magazine out. If you hit the mag release, you can see I'm hitting my mag release and the magazine is not falling out. It's so jammed up that that's not gonna work. You have to actually rip the magazine out. So you wanna hit the mag release and literally just rip it out. So you can see that took a little bit of effort. You have to tug on it pretty hard. You get that magazine out and then you still need to rack it a couple times. You wanna kind of cant it to the right side a little bit because that's where the chamber is open and you wanna be able to get everything out. So just a little slight cant and then you're gonna wanna rack, rack it a couple times, reload, so get a new magazine and now you can keep going. So that's how you would clear a type three. You would rip out the magazine, you would rack it a couple times, reload, and then go. While we're on the topic of the double feeds, the very, I have a story. The very first day ever I took my gun out shooting, I had double feed after double feed after double feed, and no one told me at the time, like to the point where I took my gun into a gunsmith and the gunsmith was like, your gun is fine, what's wrong? And then I had another instructor come in and tell me that I was limp wristing, so how embarrassing is that, that it was my fault, <laughs> and here I am taking my gun to a gunsmith. Anyways, I digress. The double feed on my very first day ever of shooting, I'm gonna scoot over so that I can put in a picture right here of my hand. 
This is my hand, the palm of my hand after I finished shooting the first day ever. This is a bruise from hitting the bottom of my gun so many times because I kept getting that malfunction and the instructor kept saying, tap rack, tap rack. And so I kept tapping and racking and I couldn't and because they were double feeds and now I know how it works and I was just tapping for no reason. I was just hitting over and over the bottom of my gun. So when I went to go name my channel, I just had like that, the fondest memories of, you know, learning tap rack and roll the hard way. Like I had to bruise myself to learn this, but I did learn it and it's kind of ingrained in my head now. So I, um, that's my experience with handgun malfunctions. I get handgun malfunctions every time I train. It's just a part of it and you do become more and more accustomed. I would recommend getting these. Look, they match my sweater. That's kind of fun. Um, I would get dummy rounds, uh, get them online, they're super cheap. They help with your dry fire practice for you to train your malfunctions because there's really no other way to train your malfunctions. So get some of these, dry fire, practice your malfunctions, and um, that's it. Keep practicing, stay safe, I'll see you next time.